grade. So here I want to show you some of the top attractions. Well, they're not really attractions, they're buildings worth visiting. So if you're planning to visit Serbia and specifically Belgrade, check these places and uh, enjoy the city. I got to Belgrade by bus from Novi Sad and the bus station is in Belgrade waterfront area. It's just five minutes walking, it's there. So this is the first view. <laughs> Uh, that I had coming to Belgrade. As you can see, Belgrade Waterfront is a urban development project that is still ongoing. You can see Belgrade Tower is still in the making, known even as uh, Kula Belgrade. Kula in Serbian means tower. Is a skyscraper, I think it's both resident, half residential, half offices probably, it's mixed use. And is designed by Skidmore, Owings and Merrill. And just at the back of these buildings, there's this beautiful park, it's a linear park with basketball fields and a playground area, fitness area really really beautiful and colorful on my first day on my first walk i went to see the moscow hotel and if i had to pick a standout building that would be for sure this one this art nouveau hotel i mean look at all his elaborate design and his colors it really stands alone even because of his location it's truly beautiful. It's a really great example of Art Nouveau. I went inside to take a look and uh, really beautiful. There are amazing decorations and frescoes on the walls and ceilings. Highly recommend it. Like if you can go there, I think there's a restaurant and cafe as well. So check it out. If there's a must-visit place in Belgrade, that has to be the fortress. It overlooks the Danube and Sava River. It's mostly open to the public. You can go pretty much anywhere. I think there are some, there's the museum, I think the military museum. Uh, other than that, it's a big park. popular even for the locals to stroll around, sit and chat. I highly recommend to go in the late afternoon when the sun starts to lower. Um, you can really enjoy sunsets from up there. And next on the list is San Sava Church. It's the largest Orthodox church in the Balkan region. It's the second largest in the world. It's really a landmark that you can't miss when you visit Belgrade. The church is dedicated to the founder of the Serbian Orthodox faith, St. Sava. It is said to be built on the side of the saint's remains. The interior is really beautiful, it is under renovation, that's why you see scaffoldings everywhere, uh, but it's really worth a visit. Unfortunately, I miss the crypts. Next time.
walking back towards the city center, you can see St. Mark's Church. This one is a new Byzantine church, and again, it's one of the largest in Serbia. Then take the bus to cross Brancos Bridge to New Belgrade, where you can take a long stroll in the big park that takes up to Zemun, or you can visit the Museum of Contemporary Art. Walking along the park, you will find many restaurants, bars and cafes on water. Here, I was just walking very randomly in uh, New Belgrade and I stumbled across this building, which is the Japanese embassy. I mean, look at it. It's, it's so beautiful. So I stopped for some photos and... Yeah, to capture it. I really wasn't expecting it. I didn't know about it. We always find good things when we casually walk. If you're looking for brutalist architecture, you really cannot miss Genex Tower. So it's a 30 stories residential tower and 26 stories office towers and it's connected on top with a it should be a revolving restaurant but it's not working and it's never been working. Genex Tower is really a symbol and probably the most known example of brutalist architecture in, in Belgrade. This one is a really uh, quirky building. It's Karaburma Housing Tower. It's even called the Toblerone Building because it really looks like the Toblerone chocolate. And I think this is another great example of brutalist architecture that if you're into it, you should really go and check it. Uh, I just wish to see how the flats look inside with all these really edgy spaces. Uh, probably not best. And that's it. So these are the places that I checked in Belgrade, the places that I wanted to show you. Um, let me know what you think about them, if you have other recommendations for me or for people who are going to visit Belgrade at any point. And thank you so much and see you in the next.